I can hear the purple calling. I can hear the purple calling. I can hear the purple calling. I can hear the dance calling. Y'all know me, I'm Perky, and I'm back at it again with some drama. All I know is that I reacted to a too hype, like, Cess Moments type of video. I kid you not, a week later, y'all said, oh, Mopey left. Mopey exposing people. Hey, I don't know what's going on. I can't tell you what it is. I can only tell you what, from what we about to see. Mopey exposes too hype for faking everything. Before I click this play button, I just want to say that if this is your first time seeing me on your screen or you're a returning subscriber, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel because it's nothing but lit. God did like this. <laughs> on a consistent basis, my baby, I know y'all see the lighting. Hold on. I know y'all see the lighting. Man, stop. Oh, hold on. Let, let's get to the video. Yo, what's up guys, AJC here. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about Mopey exposing Too Hype and revealed the truth about everything that's going on behind this Too Hype drama. I'm gonna sit back for this today, one. Because I reveal a clip from a certain Twitch stream where Too Hype expose themselves and are getting desperate. But before we get into it, first off, me in the world, if you could like this video, and if you want more YouTube news like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that red button down below. But besides that, let's get straight into today's story. Let's get straight to it. Know, there's been a lot of Too Hype drama lately where Mopey basically left the group and exposed what it's really like being a part of this. This YouTube group. X2 hype members that have been kicked out before, such as Los Poyos TV and TD, have also come out to say their truth about what it's actually like. So with all this happening, two hype members definitely had to address the situation in order to keep the fans safe on what was actually happening behind the scenes. So LSK, he actually released a, a video a couple of days ago titled Here You Go! I'm trying to give these explanations. It's the period for me. Minutes. But recently, Jesser actually uploaded a video around six to seven hours ago and he titled it I Broke My Shoulder Filming a Basketball Video. However, at the start of the video he actually addresses the mopey situation and had this to say about the topic all right y'all before we get into the video i just want to talk to y'all this is the thing oh, he... that's been happening <laughs> he like hasn't been around the last couple months really like uploading on social media he's been going through a lot mentally been fighting some serious serious demons i'm not gonna go too in depth on that i can it's believe a that personal thing but tyler i'm worried about you dude like i said i would take this whole thing offline i reached out to your mom expressing my worries i talked to your brother for an hour bro he's wow. really worried about you like he didn't you've been hiding things from him tyler i want you like i try calling you please just call me back you don't respond to me or the guys like we want to help you i'm not gonna go in depth it's very personal all of this stuff like tyler, i literally saw you the other day after this happened i told you i loved you bro you hugged me and then you don't respond he sounds very sincere i haven't been able to sleep at night like i've all i've tried to do is help this man Obviously, I'm gonna try to keep everything offline. I'm gonna try to talk to your family more because I'm worried about you, bro. I've known you forever. And all the people like hating on me, saying I snaked my best friend, like you know nothing, bro. Y'all are fueling someone who's not okay. Imagine just like shitting on me when you know nothing about me and Tyler's relationship or what he's going through or what I'm going through. I just don't get it, man. Like y'all have seen what I've done for my friends over the years. I got to the top and I brought so many people up with me bro i like that that's what i'm about dude but because the top get lonely. i'm gonna continue making videos i'm gonna continue making my thing i'm not gonna make more videos about this but Tyler, please reach out to me and if you do make a video i'll make a response video like i talked to your brother he doesn't want that i don't want to do that please tyler reach out you don't have to do this man Okay, so from the first time watching this, you can really tell that Jesser is very serious about this. He's he looked like he was. Mopey hasn't gone back to him, and you can tell that Jesser looks like he's about to cry in certain points of the right. video. So from what Jesser was saying, it seems that Mopey is really dealing with a serious, serious type of depression or mental illness that we just can't really explain. But after Jesser actually uploaded this video, a couple of hours later, Mopey decided to take to Twitter and say this after not hearing from him in about two or three days. They're trying to silence me. I won't allow it. Using a cease and desist and trying to paint me as mentally unstable. So if you don't know what oh, a cease and desist letter well, is, it's basically an order from court directing someone to stop engaging in a particular activity. So as you this all know, story went left real quick. Saying that him and Mopey are going to release an exposed video on Two Hype, and the cease and desist letter will basically state that if oh, Mopey and okay. TD decide to go through with it, then they will sue Mopey and TD for millions of dollars. So the tweet continued to say, show the lengths these guys will go to to hide their actions. They're not victims, don't fall for it. So we actually mm. attached a photo to this tweet, and it was actually 
simply the cease and desist letter and this is what it had to say. It has come to my attention of my client to hype that your client, Tyler Glenn, is engaged in derogatory and misleading communications publicly about the company and its representatives. Such communications have oh, appeared real. among other places on social media platforms that are frequented by followers and fans of the company and the Too Hype Creative Collective. Okay. My client has also learned that Mr. Glenn intends to release a video disparaging the company and or its representatives. False or misleading statements or communications that disparage- They took it to court type stuff, like what in the world? Constitute defamation, trade libel, or other actionable torts for which Mr. Glenn may be liable for punitive damages. The company demands that Mr. Glenn immediately cease and desist from any and all such conduct and other actions that may affect the disparaging the company and or its principles. The company wow. will seek legal okay. recourse to hold Mr. Glenn liable for any damage he causes as a result. It has been the intention of the company to settle amicably its affairs with Mr. Glenn once he decides <laughs> it's to It's the big word for me, like... <laughs> actions and failures to address the situation, despite that the company's attempts to do so, has made that... I would have long story short what he just said. that he'd take a different approach and are still open to discussing how the situation can be resolved in a mutually agreeable manner. Okay, so first off, sorry if I read that really poorly. There were so many big was words. It, I, 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 or something like that. That was so tough. But the sum of the letter is basically guess. saying that Moby should address this behind the scenes, and if he decides to go public with what Two Hype is actually doing behind the okay. scenes, then Two Hype will actually sue Moby for a lot of money. And the biggest thing that people fail to realize with this whole cease and desist letter is that the fact that Two Hype actually did this shows that they are actually hiding something. Because if Moby decides to reveal the truth about this That's true. Group, it could literally tarnish their whole reputation and ruin all of their careers just in one second it's honestly insane to see how far this two hype group will actually take it in order to protect their image and also protect their brain like Moby is supposed to be your friend for Jesser and Moochie they were actually all high school friends growing up oh that sucks. To do something like this to Moby and try to silence him when there's so much stuff happening behind huh. the scenes when it comes to how two hype actually is it's just honestly crazy. So with all this happening, Moby actually retweeted one of Losa's tweets when he was going off on stream and he actually said this. All you guys do is lie and contradict yourselves. Like shut the F up. When you all group FaceTime me to kick me out, you literally said it's not personal, it's because of business. That me and my brain don't align with the direction of the group. So the tweet Losa was responding to was actually they Yadel's tweet, that? which he later then deleted because James knew he was getting exposed bad. Why he so popping that better than me though? Okay. <laughs> was that walker who's a streamer and youtuber and a good friend of td was actually on stream the other day reacting to lsk's apology video so td abruptly walks into his room in the middle of walker's stream and this is what happened next so just real quick some of the parts of walker's stream is actually muted because he muted his microphone for a second but here is what happened and the old one let me just say for so many years i would always behind the scenes text just be like, dude, I don't fuck with this. I don't like this. Like, why oh, you wow. do this? Like, and get actually pissed. I'd actually block people. I'd, I'd get so mad. And it, it was just like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. It's always tough, too, Jimbo, because, like, people don't understand. Mm -hmm. Dang, we'll never know what that conversation was about. Come on, get to the juicy stuff, like... Honestly, if I was watching this live, I would've been mad. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's real bad, bro. You wanna say anything? You good. TD is on their ass. <clears throat> that is all. So, sure. all was said, so we waited all that time for it. already knew what was happening, where TD was actually getting messages from two hype members. Because if you didn't know, TD and Moby are actually planning on making an exposed video on two hype, revealing the whole truth about everything. But it will be an interesting oh, next few days as Moby and TD it. may release an exposed video. We don't really know what's happening so far, but let me know down in the comments what you think. And thanks so much for watching. Huh. Oh, I see why he put his thing on mute. Completely understandable. Got it. How do y'all feel about the situation? Again, I don't know what the freak has been going on, what's been happening behind the scenes, but that's kind of usually how these, like, group things go. I just, not for me. I'm just solo dealing with it. I'm just a woman that just does reactions, and y'all love to watch me do reactions. That's just what it is. I don't know. Again, I don't know what happens behind the scenes, Uh, people's emotions, feelings, friendships. 
I think they people it's business for people so people gonna move on business terms so they're looking past the friendships and stuff and all that stuff aside but again I don't, I don't know what's happening and what's going on maybe y'all can break it down for me what's going on with Mopey and TD and all these other people that I love <sighs> yeah, just, just be careful just, you know what I'm saying can't give your energy time space all that stuff to everybody I'm not saying that they bad I'm just I'm just speaking in general but again that was Mopey exposes too hype for faking everything Y'all want me to react to some more drama when it comes to two hype? Let me know in the comment section down below and I got y'all. But I love and appreciate each and every single one of you guys. Please go ahead and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me which one is next in the comment section down below. All my social media in the description. Yes, sir, right there. Well, that's case you missed it. 400 Ks on the way, my babies. At the record of this video, we are at 351,000 people. I say that because if I ever wanted to go back and look at my videos and be like, dang, remember we was at 351K? Now you at a million. That's why I do that. Just letting y'all know. But y'all know me. Y'all know when I start touching my face. Y'all know what I'm about to say. Have a blessed one. I'll see you on the next one. Your girl is out.